Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video, I'd like to compare the Intel i7-6700K with the i5-6600K CPU. Both are great Skylake CPUs, but how much of a performance difference can we expect here? There's quite a difference in pricing here, so it's not exactly the smallest gap. That's why this comparison might be interesting and very useful to you to make your choice. So without further ado, on to the benchmarks then. Alright, the i7 as well as the i5 did a good job, but there's a pretty big performance difference between these two. And we're not just talking of stuff like rendering, video editing, and stuff like productivity in general. No, in fact the i7 even does better in games, and definitely not by just a bit, but by much. So clearly, if you're looking for the best gaming processor, the i7-6700K might be the best choice you can make for now. While the i5-6600K isn't bad either, especially compared to the CPUs of the competition, basically the FX processors, you still won't get as many frame rates as you would with the i7 in games. Now if it's worth it to you to spend that much more for these extra FPS is your decision of course. In terms of temperatures, the i5-6600K is very very good though, much better than the i7. Therefore, I'd personally be quite interested to see how well the 6600K would perform overclocked. There's definitely headroom there in terms of temperatures. The power consumption is what you'd expect, nothing too special here between these two processors. In the end, it's really depending on how much you want or can spend on the CPU and if it's worth it for you to pay the premium for the i7. All I hope is that this video made things a little clearer for you. As always, don't miss out on my upcoming videos. And yes, there's more Skylake material coming. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.